Hey everyone, so I am currently looking through my old art folder and I have come across lots of lots of old artwork, um, just random bits and pieces, some of which I will keep as, a, as they are um, and most of them though are not really anything that I would probably use. So I am just the, from my, those ones are actually from my son. Um, but some of them, what I'm going to do is like update them with some graffiti uh, layers, um, which I will show you what I mean by that in a moment. So obviously I was going through a phase here. <laughs> these were actually one of my best selling pieces, which is probably why there's so many of these. Um, this really block floral with the fine liner overlays. Um, they were major, major popular for a while. Um, and so I created tons. I've probably sold twice as many as I've got left here um, as originals and lots of prints as well. I don't do those anymore, um, but I think that was probably a couple of years ago. Um, but yeah, so I'm just having a look through. That's again another one for my son. And just identifying which ones I think will be good for um, some graffiti overlays. Um, so definitely this one, I'm going to use that one. Um, and then in the folder at the moment, which is what I'm switching this folder to, it's just a really basic folder. Um, this is one of the great graffiti florals that I did um, on TikTok recently. I can't remember if I actually uploaded a YouTube video or not for this one, um, but I'll see and I'll see if I can. And so this graffiti style that I'm talking about is essentially me just letting go, being completely free with Posca pens, um, Sharpie marker pens, um, and various other pens. And as as I'm saying, really graffitiing over the top of old artwork. And it really does bring a whole new life to the piece. And it's actually turned out to be a style that I use on canvas and in various other um, mediums, not just on watercolor pieces. So I work over the top of acrylic pieces as well, um, mixed media pieces. And it sells well as cards. So I, I actually turn these into card prints. I haven't been doing any um, of this watercolour style as originals so I haven't tried selling them as originals yet and I haven't tried selling these as prints yet um, but I have done um, the canvases I have sold the original canvases with the graffiti layers over the top so I know that those will sell um, and I know the cards of these sell so it'll be interesting once I've done a whole collection I might put the folder in the new art studio and see if anyone is interested um, in them as originals or as prints so we'll see so that's just one of the graffiti um ones and this one here is one of the other graffiti ones there are lots more um if you head on to the tiktok channel you will actually see lots more graffiti overlays that i've done on much smaller pieces um, but now i want to work on some larger pieces so the ones i'm going to work over the top of is definitely that one and that one that's an old um press flower piece that I did a long long time ago I am in the shop so if you see me turning quite a lot I don't know how much of my face you can see but if you see me turning quite a lot it's just to check um, if anyone's coming in so I'll have to pause the video um, it's coming to the end of the day so I have planned to actually close the shop and do some more filming in it so I will have a go at overlaying a couple of these with graffiti um, I'll just do a couple and see what that happens. I'm probably going to leave him as he is, not really graffiti him, but there's definitely some touch up work that I can do on those two to make them a bit better. Um, and I think I will give that one a graffiti look. Um, those are going to leave as they are. I better check with Finny what he wants to do with those ones. I'm not really sure what that is. I think that's the start of a turtle, um, possibly from Finny or me. Um, and then that one definitely could do with a graffiti. Uh, that is a pencil, watercolour pencil piece. Now, I don't work very often in watercolour pencils, so that must be really, really old. Um, I won't graffiti over that just yet. I'll, I'll see what I'm going to do with that. But one of the things I'm always saying is don't throw away your artwork because you may be able to use it. I mean, it, supplies aren't cheap. They're expensive. A lot of watercolour paper especially watercolour paper is expensive so if there's ways that you can go over the top of this to make it worthwhile whether that means you then sell the original whether that means you photocopy um or scan it in rather and then sell the new design that you've done as prints or as whatever it may be that you sell card prints etc as a, it's, it's always worth keeping pieces and trying to reuse them so that you're not wasting the money you've spent on the product 
Um, so I'm going to do that one. I'm not sure if that's mine or Finley's base layer, um, but I need to do some more colour work on that. That's just practising cornflowers. I had great fun doing those. I really love those. I will probably work with fine liner overlays on these, but I'm not going to graffiti those because I really like this as like a, an old, a piece I can go back to and look at the different styles of, of cornflowers, the different viewpoints of them and um, so I'm going to keep that one in a different folder and not going to do that one because that one's obviously seascape so how many have that left me with one two three four five six seven eight okay which one's going to be the quickest one for me to do right now while the shop's still open just in case they come in and disrupt the video let's have a think let's go for let's go for this one it's already got some work on top with fine liners so let's go in with a sharpie thickness and i think probably gold highlights rather than silver for this one would work well um so i'm just going to jump in um this is actually a new sharpie that i've invested in that's two ends it's got a, a fine and a um, extra fine on this end and then fine on this end uh, usually the one you see me working with is just a standard sharpie so i'm not necessarily going to follow the lines from the fine liner as I'm doing this I am actually just going to be completely free with it and see what happens um, most of these videos that I do I don't talk so for me it's quite distracting to talk whilst I'm I'm, I'm doing this but I'm just testing to see what you guys prefer um, here on YouTube do you prefer the videos where I talk do you prefer the videos where I have put music over the top um, or do you just like the silent videos? Um, it'd be really helpful if you let me know. Um, do you get annoyed listening to me rattle on? Or <laughs> do you like hearing me chit chat about things? I'm not too sure. Um, the music's obviously stopped in the shop, so there's not even any background music. Um, and I don't like to leave the background music, although I've got um, permission for the music that I actually use, because it's a local, in the shop I mean, uh, it's a, a local, uh, composer there's no words to it it's just what he has composed um i will put a link actually to his work um because i absolutely love his music his music's fantastic and it's a lovely backdrop when i'm in the shop um so i will try and remember to put a link to that um so you can see what i'm talking about uh, so yeah i have got permission for his music obviously in the background in the shop however um, it always pops up as like a copyright issue um, if I have any music on in the background when I'm filming videos. So I either have to do it in silence like this with just me rattling on or I add um, video different music from the selection available um, on YouTube when I upload everything. So as I'm doing this I'm just looking at where I want to add some more detail. Um, as you know, I'm very, very free-throw when it comes to these overlays, uh, these graffiti overlays as they've been labelled now. Um, I go silent sometimes, don't I? I apologise. I just get so stuck into the process that I forget that you're there watching. <laughs> And I've also done something I wish I hadn't done. I've forgotten to do a, a YouTube version. Uh, sorry, a TikTok film. What I'm trying to do um, to maximise content at the moment is to film a YouTube video in shorts whenever I'm doing... Um, so a TikTok video in shorts whenever I'm also filming YouTube videos. Um, and I have like a stop-start process that I do. Um, but I've obviously forgotten because I'm too in the flow here doing this so I'm nearly at the end um, of this particular one and as I've said before I don't necessarily have flowers in mind when I'm putting the base layer of colours down um, and not always when I'm doing these overlays either I like to sort of leave it to the imagination a little bit I think that's much more fun than me telling you with the lines exactly what flowers you're looking at I think it's more fun if you're able to see them as the flowers you want to see them as really so this is how it's looking now it's had its thick layer it's graffiti layer Ooh, just jumped off the side it's graffiti layer added 
Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm wishing there was more green down here, um, but I'm just going to leave it as. And also you can see where I imagined the stems to be. Now, normally I would do lines to suggest the stems are there. I can't decide right this minute whether I want to add the stems so that this is more like it's a, a glass with water and the greenery or whether I'm imagining it's a, a blue green um, porcelain vase. <laughs> um, so I think leaving it as it is le leaves the person to imagine what they think it is. I quite like it without any gold but I do find that the designs with, with that gold highlight in sell best. Um, so don't do that, that's really bad, you shouldn't do that. That's why I've got these little things up here. The marks on this table, it's unbelievable. I'm a nightmare for not looking after and cleaning the table straight away. I leave it and leave it and leave it and then suddenly think, oh, look at the state of that table, I need to give that table a clean. So what I'm doing here on the orange flowers is a sort of a random highlight. These ones I'm gonna focus more where the yellow is and just highlight it a little bit there with a few marks up there. And as you can see, I've not done the marks quite the same on these flowers. So I'm just adding a few more marks there. Then for these, I tend to just do some outer marks and some inner marks when it comes to the gold highlights. Um, less is more, I find, with some of the pictures, and then some of the pictures I really go for and add lots and lots of golden highlights. This one at the moment is looking like it's going to be an in the middle one, but it really does. It makes the artwork pop by adding these gold highlights. Um, people often ask me, you know, you sort of you you seem to rush rush the lines. You work really fast. They think that I've often sped the videos up. Um, some videos I do, then when I'm working really super fast, you, you obviously I've sped those videos up, but I'm talking so you can hear that this video is in real time and I'm still working really, really fast with the, with the pens. And the reason for that is that I don't want to control it too much. I want the freedom lines. I want the lines to come from, um, somewhere with it I'm not thinking about them essentially they're coming from within me they're coming from my arm and not so much my brain uh, some people say it's coming from your heart rather than um, your brain when you're doing it this way um, which I like that thought I like that that idea of that process so I'm actually liking how this has turned out you'll notice I do a lot of splatter marks with the watercolor but not with the pen or the gold Sometimes I do, depending on the design, add lines and things with the gold and the black, but I'm not going to do that for this one. So that's that. That's one of the pieces done, and I think one's enough for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching the process and listening to me rattle on. Um, but as I said before, it'd be really great if you could give me a bit of feedback on that. Do you want to see videos real-time videos with music? Do you want me to chit-chat with you a bit more? Do you want like an introduction before I jump into the videos when I do my art videos? Let me know what you think. Um, it'd be great. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you have a great weekend um, or week, whatever day I managed to get this loaded up um, and I'll catch you soon. Bye!